Hello, dreamers. Today, we're going to talk about musical phrases. Now, do you know what this is? This is a rainbow. And what does it tell us? It tells us that there is hope after a rain. And not just that. It tells us that there's a certain beginning and a certain end. Now, before we talk about more of this, let's try to learn and sing Kunga Lafia, a Ghana welcome song. If the end of a sentence is marked with a period, then the end of a musical phrase is marked with a natural feeling of short breath or rest. In singing a phrase, you have to take one long breath from the start up to the end of each phrase, like reading a sentence. Take a look at this example. From Funga up to Ashe, that is already one musical phrase. Therefore, you're seeing now two musical phrases. Now, which of the two phrases sounded like a question? Let us listen to phrase number one. Funga lafia ashe ashe. This time, let's listen to phrase number two. Funga lafia ashe ashe. So, which of the two phrases sounded like a question? Well, the answer is phrase number one sounded like a question, while phrase number two sounded like an answer. In music, antecedent phrase is a question, and consequent phrase is your answer. Therefore, Phrase number one is your antecedent phrase, while phrase number two is your consequent phrase. Take note that both of them are similar by nature. 
It's just the ending that differs. Let's try to uh, explore more and find the phrase pattern of the song Ode to Joy. Now take a look at the musical piece and tell me how many phrases are there? Well, the answer is there are four phrases. Let's try to listen to phrase number one. Joyful, joyful, we adore thee, God of glory, Lord of love. Hearts unfold like flowers before thee, hail thee to the sun above. This time, phrase number three. Melt the clouds with sin and sadness, drive the dark of doubt away. And phrase number four. Giver of immortal gladness, heal us with the light of day. Now let us represent them with letters to be able to find the phrase pattern. Since it is the first phrase, automatically, it gets the letter A. Now, take a look at phrase number two. Is it the same as phrase number one? Is it totally different than phrase number one? Or it's similar than phrase number one? The answer is it's similar because the different uh, part of the song is the ending. That is why we'll use the same letter but add a number after it. So it's A1. Let's go to the third phrase. Take a look at the musical notes on the third phrase. Is it the same as one or phrase number two? Or is it totally different? The answer is it's totally different. That is why we're going to use another letter instead. Letter B. Now, take a look at the last phrase. Is the last phrase the same as phrase number one? What about phrase number three? Or is it the same as phrase number two? The answer is it is the same as phrase number two. So all you have to do is to copy the letter and the number of phrase number two. Therefore, the phrase pattern of the song Ode to Joy is A, A1, B, A1. Now let's talk about musical forms. Basically, forms are structures in music. Where do you usually hear the word structure? I usually hear the word structure in buildings because every time you see a building, you will see how was it formed. But let's use churches this time. What do you see in the first church? What is the structure of the first church? Starting from left to right, you will see a belfry and the church proper. Meanwhile, let's compare it with uh, church number two. You will see the belfry or the bell tower, the church, main church, and another belfry. So if you put them together side by side, we can say that church number one has a belfry and a church, while church number two has a belfry, a church, and another belfry. Now, if we are going to substitute the parts of the building with letters, church number one will have the structure A and B, while church number two will have the structure A, B, and another A. Now, in music, the structure or the form of church number one is what we call binary form, while the form or the structure of church number two 
ABA is what we call the ternary form. Let us try to check some examples in music. So let's see if you'll be able to determine the form of music in this song. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. The first stanza, Lord, have mercy is a form in itself which is different from the second verse which is Christ of mercy. If you notice, not just the words, no, but the actual melody has changed. But then again, it returned to Lord of mercy which is the same with stanza number one or verse number one. Therefore, if you're going to convert the shapes or the lyrics into letters. The first one will have the letter A. Christ of Mercy will have letter B. And it will go back to letter A. Now, which musical form is ABA? The answer is ternary. How about this song? Paro parong bukid Nalilipad-lipad sa gitna ng daan. Papagapagaspas, sambara ang tapis. Sandang kalamangas, ang sayang dekola, sang piyesa ang sayad. May paineta pa siya, may suklay pa man din. Nagwas de ohetes, ang palalabasin. Haharap sa altar. At mananalamin at sa kalalakan ng pakendeng-kende. The folk song, Paro Paro Bukid, is divided into two parts. The first part, which is from Paro Paro Bukid until Sang Piesa Ang Sayad. And then, the feeling changes. May paineta pa siya until pakendeng-kendeng. Did it return to Paro Paro Bukid? No, it did not. So if we're going to, to uh, convert the verses with letters, this is A, and that is B. Now, what musical form is AB? Yes, it's binary. So for a recap, musical phrases are musical thoughts, and you usually use an arc, to draw a musical phrase. Now, every time you see a musical phrase, you breathe at the beginning, hold, and sing until you reach the end of the musical phrase. In a song, there are certain phrase patterns. Meanwhile, talking about the structure of music, which is musical form, we are, uh, we are so aware that there are two kinds of musical forms. That is AB or binary, which has two parts and ABA or ternary, which has three parts. Ternary, uh, the ternary form is, a, uh, is formed when the first verse is being repeated at the end of the song. That makes it ABA. Okay? And I hope that uh, you have learned something with this lesson. But of course, great things must come to an end. And because of that, Yo.
Dios. Thank you.